Hello students, I am Mr. Sandeep here. In advanced manufacturing processes, in the chapter of rapid prototyping, we have discussed various processes based on the liquid that is stereolithography process, based on your powder form that is selective laser sintering and based on your solid form that is fuse deposition modeling. So, in the various categories, today also we are going to discuss on the process that is based on the solid or say raw material form that is in form of solid. Right? So, in the rapid prototyping, you can make or say you can build your prototype at very faster rate. So, speed is very important criteria as well as here material wastage is absent or say very minimum. So, here I mentioned the process that is capital L-O-M in the short form L-O-M that is laminated object manufacturing right so here the process name is laminated object manufacturing this process is under category of rapid prototyping and this process can be classified under category of solid based process or say this process is based on solid because here your raw material is available in form of solid or say solid sheet or layer right so once again i repeat the name of the process that is laminated object manufacturing right so in the laminated object manufacturing here in this process i mentioned the principle for this process or say important point and image for this process Right, so as per our discussion here, in the laminated, laminated object manufacturing, your material can be built layer by layer and here this process is based on the solid and here your raw material will be used or say in available in form of a paper or say thin sheet. Right? So here your material will be in form of solid, thin sheet or say in the paper form. So here two wire feeding or say two rollers are used for feeding this sheet material or if you are feeding this paper form raw material right so here two spools or two rollers are used so here i mentioned in this principal image various components uh, that can be used in this laminated object manufacturing right so here as per our discussion here laser is used and with help of this laser, you can build or say you can build a layer and that and repeat it, this process. You can build your whole product layer by layer manufacturing, right? So here in the laminated object manufacturing, as per our discussion here, generally CO2 laser is used, and this CO2 laser can scan according to your a part geometric and this is how one layer can be built with help of this CO2 laser cutting or laser scanning and due to this one layer can be manufactured and the several layers can be glued with each other and whole part can be built on the platform right so we will discuss in the depth uh, on this process this laminated object manufacturing but for now just try to remember the principle with help of this laser scanning, you can make your single layer and after here heating roller is also used and due to this heater roller, what happens, your one layer can be stick with another layer or so one layer can be glued easily with the another layer and this is how a whole part can be built. Right, so here as per our discussion, I mentioned the detailed construction for this laminated object manufacturing so as per our discussion here laser is used that is generally co2 laser or say laser energy is used for generating the heat so certain what laser can be used for this purpose right so here laser is strike on the mirror and after that uh, we can uh, generate the laser and uh, control the movement of this laser right so on the platform the heated roller or say heated roller is provided so function of this heated roller is to settle the layer or say after cutting or say after scanning with help of laser it can uh, provide the heating and so that this layer can be 
easily settle with the layer that is in downward direction that already cut or settled right so here what happens first of all uh, there will be a roller that is feeding the sheet material right so sheet material is coming on the table that is a first step after that your laser can be switched on as per the part geometry your laser can be moved on the your sheet metal according to the part outline or say as per your geometry of dot stl file what happens your laser can be moved according to the outline and after that what happens here your laser is moving as per the horizontal and vertical hatching so here hatching will be done with help of laser so laser will be moving in horizontal direction with certain distance between two horizontal movement and also in vertical movement or say at the 90 degree so due to this what happens the hatching or checks will be generated in simple words the small square parts will be generated right so these parts are very necessary so uh, i will explain you why this hatching is necessary with help of this laser so just remember when the laser is moved what happens at this particular line what happens fusing can be done and you can cut the part from this line where the laser is traversed also where the laser is moved already right so here as per your part geometry or laser scanning can be done and extra hatching uh, is provided with help of laser right so this hatching is very necessary so here what happens when the one layer is also one outline is generated with help of laser this layer can be moved in downward direction right so in the outward uh, direction the laser is or say your as per your laser movement the part or say your a uh, layer can be cut and this layer is uh, coming on this platform and platform is moving in downward direction right so again your sheet metal is moving uh, further and your fresh sheet metal is available on the table and again your laser is moving as per your geometry your part or say particular profile can be cut and with help of this heated roller and you can glue both the parts or say both the sheets together and this process is repeated uh, until your whole part is made on this build platform right so here your sheet material or say your raw material is available in form of sheet laser is used in the outline as per your part geometric and your gluing can be done with help of this heated roller right so here these sheets are generally self attaching nature it means your sheet can be attached with each other easily when we provide the heat right so gluing is already provided in this type of laminated or this type of sheet material so as per our discussion i mentioned the whole process for laminated object manufacturing so here heated roller is used there are two rollers or feeding mechanism from the one you can provide your paper or sheet material or say this on the other roller what happens this cut or say this sheet metal is wound again on the second roller right that is uh, having a cut in its geometry because the layer is already cut from this sheet material due to this laser movement right so this is how uh, you can generate your whole part by gluing the cut layer with each other right with help of the laser so as per our discussion here i mentioned all the points and all the steps that is required for this laminated object manufacturing so that's why this process name is laminated object because here lamination or say layer by layer lamination is done after each step right so here for your better understanding i mentioned one video so here as per our discussion laser is traversing or laser is continuously scanning according to your part geometry so here outline is part outline is uh, created or say part outline is scanned with help of this laser and due to this outline your sheet metal can be uh, separated from this outline and this cut your sheet or say your cutted sheet part is uh, attached or say is placed on this platform and after that what happens again the fresh 
sheet material is available right and after so here i mentioned the purpose of the hatching so in the hatching what is the purpose of providing this hatching part because what happens when you make your or say when your laser is moving as per your part geometry here what happens when we provide this laser in in uh, in say or say in hatching pattern or say in 90 degree available pattern what happens this part can be easily cut after once your part built on the platform right so this small square part in 3d uh, model after your building you can easily remove this 3d parts that is in form of a square cubical part easily and you can use your model effectively right so that's why uh, after uh, scanning your as per your part geometry the hatching can be done or a small square cross section part in, in 3d or in three dimension can be made so after uh, once the whole model can be built you can remove this cubical parts one by uh, one and your final model is ready as per your design right so here once again i repeat after scanning what happens after you scan as per your part geometry the hatching can be done or say your laser can be moved in horizontal as well as in 90 degree that is making the checks pattern and after layer by layer gluing your part can be built and after building this part you can remove this small hatching part from bottom to the top and after removing you can take your part or say you can use your part effectively so just uh, see carefully here all this cubical parts uh, can be removed and after your final product will be ready right so this is the main purpose for this hatching or say your laser hatching right so your laser can be moved in horizontal direction as well as in vertical or say in 90 degree direction and after that you can do your final part building right so here your material is available in form of sheet or say paper that is very important right so here i mentioned all the steps for this process that is laminated object manufacturing so here i mentioned a uh, various parameters for this process that is laminated object manufacturing so here maximum part build size is limited so here i mentioned all the digits as well as resolution in x and y direction right so here resolution is very important in particular horizontal plane that is x and y direction and as well as your vertical that is that direction right so here sheet material thickness is governed or say is linked with your resolution in that direction right so based on this process you can make a various type of parts so this is a comparatively high speed process so this process is used for very high speed prototyping right so here various large parts also uh, can be built on the platform with help of this laser scanning so these are the advantages for this process right so here support is not necessary because here your raw material is in form of the sheet material or in the paper form so here extra support is not required so this is the main advantage so here i also mentioned various limitations right so here i mentioned the z resolution is not uh, as high as the other technology right so here sheet metal thickness is very important so in the z direction you cannot achieve such close tolerances or say your z resolution right so this is the one of the limitation for this process right so here when the laser is scanning on this sheet material what happens the excess or say the scrap material is very difficult to restore right so here this uh, scrap or wastage in the uh, material is one of the key point that we should consider for this laminated object manufacturing right so this is the process based on the sheet metal or say your paper type of that is in the category of solid rapid prototyping technique that is laminated object manufacturing thank you all of you